So first when I saw this story, I wasn't sure it's real. Turns out it actually is real. A Texas man is running for president after changing his name to literally anybody else. So in theory, you'd have Trump, Biden, and then a box where it said literally anybody else. Kind of brilliant. Kind of brilliant, not going to lie. Now, you know, hey, look, to be fair, it's actually not true that they were the only options. On the Republican side, you had a whole bunch of candidates to pick from. On the Democratic side, you have uh, you have Joe Biden, you had Marion Williamson, you had Dean Phillips, you even had Jank Uger, assuming he would survive his court cases about it. Like, there were other options, but I don't know. We're also fucking brain poisoned, and there's hyper partisanship, and the media is so shitty that everybody just defaulted to, like, I'll go, I'm negatively polarized into just default supporting the guy who's not the guy I hate, right? That's, that's my sense of how we got to this place where we are right now. But I sort of respect this move. This is kind of funny. So here's what they say in uh, Business Insider. A Texas man says he believes anybody else should be president instead of the current Democratic and GOP frontrunners. And he's taking things into his own hands and running a long shot race to prove a point by changing his name to literally anybody else. Um... So they have some quotes here. I'm gonna go, I'll, we'll go to his website in a second, and I'll give you uh, the quotes. But he's a seventh grade math teacher and U.S. Army veteran. And um, look, my sense, honestly, reading a bunch about this guy, is that he's not really all that political. He just really hates both Trump and Biden and is like, this is stupid, really? These are the only options? So he's doing this sort of stunt here. Now, a couple things. He actually has a policy platform, and he just strikes me as, like, kind of a confused dude who's just, like, like, going with his gut type shit. I mean, in some ways left-wing, in other ways a little right-leaning, like, but the, the thing that annoyed me is that he's asking for contributions, right? Like, this is a fucking, like, you know, little PR funny ha-ha thing. You're, like, don't actually ask for people's money, Right. Am I wrong? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess, in theory, the reason why he'd need the money is to get on the ballots. But there's no way he's going to raise enough money to get on the ballots. Like, you need millions and millions and millions of dollars to get on all the ballots, or get the signatures, which I don't think he's going to get the signatures, right? So, I don't know. The asking for money thing seems weird. But here's what he says. Don't repeat history. Make it. Literally anybody else for a stronger United America. Bear with me while this website is under construction. For too long... For too long have Americans been a victim of its political parties putting party loyalty over governance. Together, let's send the message to Washington and say, you will represent the people or be replaced. America should not be stuck choosing between the king of debt, that's what Trump called himself, uh, and an 81-year-old. See, but that's the other thing, right? Like, the way he, he frames this, like, so what, your biggest problem with Donald Trump is that he increased the debt? Like, that's your biggest problem with him? That's sort of, that's like a right-wing belief right that's a right like he's that's a right-wing idea like that's what nikki haley says when she criticizes trump like he added a lot to the debt and it's like that on the list of shit that's down to like number 78 in terms of hey this guy's fucked up you know so anyway literally anybody else isn't just a person it's a rally cry join the movement in any way donate volunteer share it with a friend let this campaign be a beacon of hope and innovation and then uh Talks a little bit about himself here. So for his policies, let's just, we'll do a quick breeze through. We don't need to go too deep. Quality health care for every American. Health care should be accessible, affordable, and comprehensive. I'll fight for a health care system that covers everyone, emphasizes preventive care, and includes mental health services. Your health is your wealth. So, I mean, that sounds good, but you, know, you could have just said single-payer Medicare for all. When you say stuff like it needs to be accessible, affordable, and comprehensive, it's like you can make it free at the point of service. So again, he strikes me as not all that political. But when you get to the specifics, some things he's like he has a left wing instinct on, other things he has a right wing instinct on. Expanding access to healthcare providers, breaking the cycle of recidivism, that's left wing. Improving education for tomorrow, left wing. Housing affordability for all, left wing. Investing in our communities, left wing. Supporting small business success, that's eh, sort of centrist y, you would say. Securing our borders responsibly. Mm. An innovative work-based tax plan. Mm. <laughs> so he's just like a regular dude who... Act like, here's the thing. It's not just what it appears to be, right? It's not just the, let's do a fun little PR thing and, like, make a point by saying, literally anybody else. He also sort of does kind of want to be a player a little bit, right? He does. Which is why he's got this policy shit. If he was really doing the literally anybody else thing, the website would just say, I'm not actually really even running 
think of voting for me as like a no confidence vote. Vote for me for that reason. Like you could have just said that shit on the website, but he didn't. He did a little policy thing. So I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of it. Just, I mean, I just, I like the idea in general, right? It's like an attempt to have a no confidence vote or an uncommitted vote at the federal level. It's an attempt to send a message. But there's also this point, which is sort of the elephant in the room. And I'd like to ask this guy about this question in particular is like, you say literally anybody else. Well, there are other people running in the general. Jill Stein will probably be on a lot of ballots, right? She's the Green Party candidate. I'm sure the Libertarians will run somebody as well. Almost certainly, they always do. Um, RFK is trying to be on the ballots. He's on some already. I don't know how many ultimately he'll, he'll end up on. Cornell West, sort of same boat as RFK, although if I had to guess, I'd say RFK is probably going to get on more ballots than Cornell West. Um, <clears throat> so you could have just picked one of them and advocated for them. But I guess it's just like a sort of a middle finger to the system, which I can respect to some extent. I mean, I might not be totally in alignment with his politics. I can respect it to some extent. So uh, I like the idea. You guys tell me what you think. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.